What are you actually doing over there? Just about to have an ice cream because it's getting so hot here. And it got me thinking, how did people eat ice cream when fridges didn't exist? I guess they'd have to eat it really quickly before it melted down. Exactly like the energy in solar impulse when you think about it. If it wasn't for the batteries that store it, the solar energy collected by the plane would have to be used instantly and solar impulse wouldn't be able to make it through the night. Luckily, storage technology has made a lot of progress in the past decades. We can now collect the energy from the sun and use it at different times of the day. Batteries are also allowing ABB, one of our main partners, to help remote communities upgrade their existing diesel-based system with renewable energies. Isn't that right, Owen? Indeed, Marie. Renewables only generate electricity when the sun is shining or when the, the wind is blowing. And renewables are quite hard to integrate into a power grid. ABB's microgrid technologies help smooth the production profile of renewables and helps to reduce power outages. We've brought this change to remote communities, transitioning from fuel-based systems to renewable energies and providing clean and stable energy to those communities. But I'm pretty sure ABB is known for their smart energy systems too, right? Correct again, Nat. ABB's smart sensor is like a Fitbit sensor for a motor. What it does is optimizes uh, electrical efficiency of the motor over time. And if ABB's sensor was fitted to every motor in the world, you could end up saving the entire energy consumed by Germany in one year, and that's an amazing amount of energy. Any system from a car to a city could be made smart and more efficient using sensors like these. Take Solar Impulse. It uses smart energy dispatches which allows it to optimize its energy use, which is why André Borchberg calls it a flying smart grid. ABB's partnership with the Solar Impulse project gives us an opportunity to demonstrate to people in a very visible fashion how technology comes together to help all of us have less impact on the environment. Oh, is it dessert time already? 